What's up guys, my friends here today, today we're going to be talking about a little thing that I call running reset. And that basically means resetting the way you run, so what's the way you run. And if the way that you're running is actually a trigger to making you have inflammation and causing bloating. So being a trigger to bloating and the way that you're running is actually affecting how you exhale and heal properly. So, I'm going to explain this step by step, but I, I used to be a really, really bad runner, and I think I'm an okay runner today, I, I think I'm okay, not, not that good, but okay, I haven't ran in a long time because of my migraine, caused a lot of tension to my head, but I, other than that, we're going to talk about this, so we're going to get into it right now, and the way I, I ran, I ran thoroughly with my foot mounted on the ground so nothing came off it was literally like pounding on the ground and this pounding way of running that many people do it and the sad part is they're not realizing that there's a better way to do it and it was it was shocking for me because i really didn't want to do that way of running because i already had instilled in my mind that the way i was doing it was better than the way that they were doing it and i was going to get much more out of it there were going to be positive effects, but actually, the thing is, ironically, there were negative effects all the time. And the best way to actually run, which I soon noticed, is to actually elevate your Achilles tendon off the ground. So I do this slowly, so I'll kind of show you right here. It'll be like you're, you're balancing something, but trying to make sure that your, your quads don't drive you backwards and make sure that you're you're fighting on how it's leaning back so you want to make sure you go against that with actually leaning forward and again you, do, you don't want to lean back it's going to give you a notch back you just want to literally go forward it's going to affect your muscle contraction is going to affect bloating how many inflammation you get it's going to affect inhaling and exhaling properly which is a misconception about this that you literally you take one big breath of air breathe out but the thing is take a slow breath of air you want to make sure you literally contract your rectus abdominis you want to say transverse abdominis when you're in transverse extension so you're literally balancing your full flexibility, stability, mobility, and literally letting out a little bit of air. Going back. So you literally you breathe out, you're breathing out literally for only about two seconds and for the remainder of the two seconds, you get back to that contracted form which you contracted your abs. It's going to really affect me. I'm going to do it right now when I'm running. It's going to affect, in the long run, how you're breathing, how much oxygen is actually getting to your, your muscles as you run. Because the main thing when you're running, again, many people find this hard, but you can actually build muscle. It's one of the best ways to build muscles, especially in your your gastroc and your, your solus, calf muscles, usually during the time when it's either snowing because it's going to make it so you literally got to get a lot of work in because of how dense the snow is. And what, whatever time, whatever season you do it, it's still, running is good. It's just the way you do it, you want to stop the way you're doing it and do the, the way I'm teaching you right now, which is to slowly exhale, inhale. You want to slowly do this as you're contracting your abs, and you're, you're again, on your tibia, when the force in your tibia, you're not leaning back, so you're fighting against that. You're actually leaning, for, leaning forward, so your balance is on point. You don't have an arch back, which is 
majorly important. Especially when you're trying to get a posterior posture. You don't want to be bleeding back because it's going to affect your spine. It's going to affect if you get stenosis, paralyzed diseases like that. Scoliosis, 20 degree angle back. Hyphosis, 45 degree angle back. It's going to affect, if you get those, it's going to affect your stability and flexibility. And most of all, mobility when you're actually running your career as you're getting planted on the ground and you're avoiding just running flat foot with your whole foot on the ground. And what I want to talk about before I end this video, I know I just explained the whole loading inflammation, actually, only any handling, but I want to go more in depth with this. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about. Which is going to be the last thing. Now you want to make sure you add these points together so that you're exhaling, inhaling while you contract your abs. You want your tibia, you want it going up, your Achilles tendon going up. You don't want it to go down because the sooner it goes down, you're actually leaning back more. Find that you're leaning back more because your posture is not good. It's literally going to be anatomically done. Which is really bad because that is just a standard posture that you put no effort into it. You're not trying to do anything. You're not adding any effort. You're not trying to balance or anything. You're only really that forward to let, let you push back. And you don't even care the effects of that posture. Which, as I say again, posterior is the best posture. For ab contraction, transverse abdominis, flexibility, mobility, stability, stretching, bending. That literally all those components go along with transverse abdominis, transverse protraction, extension. It also goes along with this that I'm trying to teach you right now. I'm going to run a little bit so I can, you can see my Achilles tendon. Make sure that I drive the force in my joints upward as my tibias, they move my tibia on both of my feet. I'll make sure that I'm actually putting my, um, so shoulder position is actually going to make you have your, your shoulder going down like this. If you're running like this, like that, you ever like this, so with your you want them to be proportional, your shoulders, so, let me free right here, you want your shoulders, like, right here, so literally, and I'm going to go right now, but your gloves going to be right here, or your fingers are going to be right here, you want to focus all that force on your abs, transverse protraction, extension, and again, you want to inhale and exhale correctly, while you're actually doing this, while you're following these are uh, steps that I'm teaching right now. And this is ultimately going to be major to you. To how fast you run, the speed, and how much tension that you're actually getting from this. And your direction, how you're doing it, how you're running in that direction at what speed, and how mobile your joints are going to be. And... That's it for the video t today, guys, and I just wanted to talk about that because it will make me have a really, really bad idea of what running is. It's not what they really think it is, and there's actually a better way to do it. And, bye guys, Brian Finnis out. I'll make another video today, but make a couple more videos, I'll upload them. And bye guys, bye fans out.